Hello and welcome to Boson's Botany. I am continuing with uh, molecular biology and um, today I am uploading a fresh new video on uh, DNA duplex or double helical structure of DNA. In my previous video I have already explained you about the chemical composition of DNA and now I am continuing with that. So this is uh, the uh, BDNA or the front view of BDNA. BDNA which is very commonly found in every eukaryotic cell. So there are some points which you must keep in mind before understanding the structure of uh, double helical structure. Point number one, there are two polynucleotide chains which are wrapped around each other like a staircase or a spiral staircase or a coil about the imaginary axis that runs in between those two polynucleotide chains. So this is the imaginary axis that is running and these are two polynucleotide chains of DNA which are wrapped like a staircase or a spiral staircase. Point number two, this is a single loop, one loop. If you run your finger like this, this is one single loop and one single loop will have 10 base pairs or 10 nucleotides or 10 nitrogenous bases. So how will you remember or how will you draw those 10 base pairs? Here they are. I have not drawn all uh, the 10 base pairs here because uh, it was getting very clumsy and very untidy. So just to explain you, I have drawn only three of them. So you need to draw, you know, all those uh, base pairs to keep that uh, number constant that is 10 base pair in one complete loop so there are total uh, 10 uh, base pairs so it must have 10 sugar or ribose sugar also so 1 2 3 4 5 5 here and there will be also 5 1 2 3 4 5 okay let me draw those five here for your better understanding just wait for a while okay so five sugars here one two three four five and five here one two three four five so total ten ten base pairs sorry ten sugars and same goes for here as well one two three four five five sugars and also one two three four five five sugars here so total of 10 sugars in one coil okay so this is one coil or one loop and one loop will have 10 base pairs so obviously obviously there will be 10 sugars also that i have drawn 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 making one complete loop having 10 sugars now these sugars have phosphodiester linkages like this i have not drawn all of them but there will be phosphodiester linkage like this you need to draw them everywhere now here also same now at ca carbon number one of ribose pentose sugar we attach the nitrogenous base and uh, what are those nitrogenous bases if you remember adenine thiamine guanine cytosine so here first sugar will have at carbon number one thiamine which is having double bond in between adenine and this is attached to other sugar of another polynucleotide chain i have selected these nitrogenous bases randomly you can uh, you know uh, write any any uh, set of uh, nitrogenous bases but you need to remember the uh, number of hydrogen bonds present in between those nitrogenous bases so thiamine will have double bond in be, uh, between adenine so thiamine and adenine will have double bonds guanine and cytosine will have triple bonds and so on so this is the first 
polypeptide chain this is the second polypeptide chain and if you remember just keep that chemical structure in mind and understand this structure simultaneously so this sugar at carbon number 1 will have its nitrogenous base which is attached to the next sugar of another polynucleotide chain at carbon number 1 so this will be parallel and this will be anti parallel in direction similarly for sugar number 2 here i have drawn guanine triple bonded with cytosine attached to another sugar of other polypeptide chain at carbon number 1 this will go on like this so i think this is clear so again this is one complete loop this is one complete loop here and one loop will have 10 nitrogenous bases or 10 base pairs or 10 nucleotides 10 sugars whatever you want to say so 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 total 10 sugars in one poly uh, in one coil these are phosphodiester linkages these are nitrogenous bases if you consider this loop to be parallel then this will be anti parallel in direction this sugar will have a nitrogenous base attached at carbon number 1 which is attached to the carbon number 1 of another sugar of the other or anti parallel directed uh, polypeptide chain okay so this is very simple to understand this will go on like this till we reach the end now some numerical values are here which you need to remember the diameter between two nucleotide chains or two polynucleotide chains is 20 armstrong this is the diameter this you need to remember and this is exclusively for b dna all the values are uh, exclusively meant for b dna so this is uh, very important 20 armstrong diameter between two polynucleotide chains now this is this one complete loop here this one complete loop here this is known as the pitch of the helix having 34 armstrong of diameter or the length not diameter length the length of one loop or which is commonly known as pitch of the helix is 34 armstrong now if you uh, separate if you separately understand the uh, distances between the hydrogen bonds uh present in between two nitrogenous bases then uh you need to uh, you know see this like adenine will have a double bond with thiamine and the distance between uh, these two uh, hydrogen bonds is 2.83 to 2.90 armstrong and this will also be true for the triple bonds present between guanine and cytosine so the distance between hydrogen bonding is 2.83 to 2.90 armstrong and the distance between and the distance between uh, two uh, uh, nitrogenous bases two nitrogenous bases here will be 3.4 armstrong this is known as the helix rise do not get confused with the term pitch of the helix and helix rise pitch of the helix is uh, the length of one complete loop and helix rise is the distance between two nitrogenous bases or the two base pairs that is these two this is one nitrogenous base this is uh, sorry this is one uh, base pair this is another base pair and the distance between them is 3.4 which is known as the helix rise and the distance between two hydrogen bonds here will be 2.83 to 2.90 armstrong same goes for this also so i think this uh, concept is clear this is different view of b dna now i will give you the lateral view of b dna so this is the uh, lateral view of b dna very simple so only one 
partial coil or partial one uh, strand is formed here so this big depression here that you can see is known as the major groove and this small uh, crest like structure is known as the minor groove and these dots here these are histone proteins which are present along the chain and this is the angle of divergence which is 30 degree so very simple and uh, this is the lateral view now here comes the theoretical part of this diagram uh, the double helical structure of DNA was proposed by Watson and Crick with the help of X-ray diffraction method of Franklin and Wilkins. Later on for their uh, revolutionary discovery, uh, Watson and Crick both got the Nobel Prize. Second point, DNA molecule has two polynucleotide strands with the opposite orientation that is 5 prime to 3 prime upward and 3 prime to 5 prime downward so in totality dna strand is known as complementary strands or anti parallel strands so the first diagram that i uh, i have explained was the front view of b dna and there are some important points first one spiral or one turn has the length of 34 armstrong with 10 nucleotide pairs thus in one groove five pairs are present one turn has two loops just you know uh, remember that uh, front view of bdna so one loop will have two uh, sorry one uh, 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 complete yes one complete loop will have two grooves and one groove will have five nitrogenous bases or five nu nucleotide pairs so one complete loop will have 10 nitrogenous bases or 10 nucleotide pairs and the length of one loop is 34 armstrong and this is known as the helical pitch of the helix pitch of the helix is 34 armstrong the second point is the imaginary axis which was running uh, in between the two uh, strands has a diameter of 20 armstrong since one turn length is 34 armstrong which is the pitch of the helix with 10 nucleotide pairs therefore the distance between two pairs will be 3.4 armstrong this is the helix rise so this is very important to understand since there are 10 nucleotide pairs and the length of one loop is 34 armstrong so the distance between two pairs or two nucleotide, uh, two successive uh, nucleotide pair will be 3.4 Armstrong, which is the helix rise. The, the, the last point for uh, front DNA of BD, BD, uh, front portion, uh, front view of BDNA, sorry, front view of BDNA is inside the helix there are hydrogenous, sorry, hydrogen bonds, covalent hydrogen bonds having length of 2.83 to 2.90 uh, this is same for um, both double bond as well as triple bond uh, now the final uh, structure that I have explained was lateral view of BDNA and there are four points regarding that first histone proteins are present second angle of divergence which is about 30 degree Third, in one micrometer, which is length of DNA, in case of lateral view, there are present nearly about 3000 base pairs or nucleotide pairs. The last point, minor and major grooves are present in lateral view of BDNA. So, this was the whole uh, definition about the double helical structure of DNA. So, if you are asked to write or uh, describe what is double helical structure of B DNA. You need you need to mention the structure, both the structures, front as well as the lateral view. Then you need to uh, write up all the details about uh, the discoverers uh, and uh, the uh, numerical values. 
what are helical uh, what is helical rise what is pitch of the helix um, you know the distance between two nitrogenous bases so on and so forth so this is the complete setup of uh, dna double helical structure in my next video i will give you uh, informations about z dna and uh, will differentiate between b and z dna so don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, if you have some suggestions please write down the comment box and uh, watch my other videos share my videos and uh, keep watching bosons botany thank you